Hi, my name is Andreas, and I'm here. Well, I was 17 years old. I was called a cyberpunk on Swedish national television. I think that was one of the greatest moments of my life, actually. Um, I'm here to talk about Vue. I come from a company called Superstereo, by the way. Uh, Vue is a JavaScript framework. The crowd goes, yeah! We never heard of that before. Now, today, if you want to talk about a JavaScript framework, it's like, are you serious? Didn't you get the memo? It's like, it's over, man. The battle is done. There are like one winner, and there's a runner-up, and the rest is like, whoosh, forget about it. Well, I'm here to argue differently. I'm here to talk about Vue.js. And I'm going to do it by using two of the most powerful entities known to man, James Bond and 80s music. And I think 80s music is sort of like a theme here. We have like Dire Straits starting up and the 80s cover band yesterday. And together, they become power overwhelming. So this is, by the way, the view from our office window. If we were in a Bond movie, we would totally be the villain. But fortunately, we're kind of nice. We like win awards for that stuff and st things like that. But this image is kind of like this one. So we go back in time to 1985, a great year. I got my first computer, my Commodore 64. Life's never been the same. But also, this is the last performance of the now late Sir Roger Moore as James Bond in A View to a Kill. He's up against the mad IT billionaire Max Sorin. You can see him up there holding an Uzi, and they're on top of the Golden Gate Bridge. And Sorin's henchman woman bodyguard is the beautiful but deadly May Day. And I couldn't find, it's Christopher Walken who plays Max Sorin. I couldn't find Christopher Walken or Grace Jones. So I had to have some other villains for this story. And well, there they are. So <laughs> yeah, is the war truly lost, or is there still a chance for our secret agent? Yeah, well, the first thing when you're a front-end developer today, uh, David talked about this yesterday a bit, it's that you have to have all this set up to just to get started. It's really fr frustrating. OK, React has some sort of get started app. And so does Vue, but Vue actually makes it a lot simpler to get started. That's what you need. Drop that single line of code, and you're good to go. You can start writing Vue right now. No problem. If you want to spend two and a half minutes, you can use Vue install webpack, Vue project, or whatever you want to call it. And then you're really good to go. Then you have a complete setup environment. And what I mean by that is, yes. Yes, 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 oh yeah, yes, yeah. So that's what you need to get started. You don't need anything else. But of course, there is more to view than that. View is really small. It's 28 kilobytes gzipped. If you want routing, state management, and uh, um, resource management, API calls, then it's around 50. So it's really small. It's really fast. It's about it's up to 33% faster than React. It's because the way it manipulates the DOM. And it's yes, it's component based. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. Uh, you can use another instance or you can use Vuex, which is like Redux, but better. Oh, I, I don't want to say better. But it's it's uh, tailor made for Vue. So it really plays on the benefits that Vue comes with. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, you can write JSX if you like, but why should you? Vue is good enough without it. Yes, this is the one major selling point for Vue, as far as I'm concerned. You probably already know it. <coughs> if you have done any front-end development, you know how to write Vue. Yes. As you could see in the first slide that I didn't talk about, WordPress is considering using it. The three major biggest tech companies in China is using it. The biggest one has a net worth of $380 billion. So yes, people are using it. Uh, Stack Overflow, Laravel, GitLab. There's really no end to it. 
Uh, yes, it already has. Yes, my God, yes, it will. Ah, okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, I mean, we have a nice view where I work. It's, it's, it's okay. So, back to Bond. I'm sorry, Dave. No, I'm afraid what? I can't do that. What? Uh, yes, you can, Hal, really. I want to go back to Bond. You're from the wrong, from the wrong decade, and you're also not the villain, villain I'm looking for. Even though it's an interesting parallel, because Stanley Kubrick, when he did 2001 A Space Odyssey, he used HAL as a warning for the power of IBM, that the IBM corporation would consume all other techno, techno business thingies. And, uh, um, but Stanley Kubrick always said that he didn't do it, but everyone was assumed that it was IBM. But when you look at the new digitally enhanced movies, you can see the letters IBM being reflected, reflected in Dave's helmet. So yes, it was a warning for IBM. But for our purposes, Hal's not going to cut it, so we need a new, fresher villain. And of course, that still is React. But I say that, really, there is no, there's really no hard feelings between React and Vue, because they are so similar that you can't really trash talk each other. And as you can see, I'm like squeezed in here between two React speakers, and there, is n there are no eggs flying my way yet. But maybe that's because they know of the one major weakness that Vue has. Because Vue has a major, major flaw. <coughs> and these are the things that make a framework successful, I believe. And <laughs> a... Uh, Online educational company called Udemy has made a comparison. I mean, you shouldn't really compare frameworks, but they have like different stages. And they compared Vue, React, and Angular. And they've, well, you can see it yourself, but spoilers, Vue did really, really well. But there is one major issue. That's React's got Facebook behind it, and Google is behind Angular. While Vue, well, it's this guy. <laughs> so that's Evan Yu. He's, by all accounts, a genius. And now he has a team working for him. So that's good. But it's still, if poor Evan should get hit by a bus or something, Vue would be like, <coughs> probably. Well, maybe not now when so many big companies are starting to look into Vue. But still, it's a big risk. So it's very difficult to take the leap. So this is uh, from, Git, uh, from GitHub, the popularity of different frameworks. You can see that Vue has now passed Angular 1, and it's really gaining traction in terms of popularity. The green one is Angular 2, and the blue rocket is React. But if you look closely, you'll see that if you compare only React and Vue, Vue gets about double the amount of stars that React does, and has been doing that for quite a while. So it's got a lot of traction. It's got a lot of momentum. It's got a lot of people wanting to use it. The community loves it. And there's also, oh, right, sorry. <laughs> and did I tell you about Max Sorin in the beginning, the mad IT billionaire? So his master plan is to be the only tech company in Silicon Valley. And he's going to do this by destroying all other companies so that he may reign supreme. And he's going to do this looking from his blimp on high, just watching the destruction all around him. Well, on a completely different note, yes, yes. Maybe not completely different, because last year, about a year ago, Facebook added a patent clause to React. So it's not really open anymore. They own it. And the community was, what, what? You did what now? But Facebook, they took it out six months, and then they released a statement that said, well, you have nothing to worry about, nothing to see here, please continue. And no one really knows what that means. But it, it kind of leaves me like, OK, they do that. What will they do next? And so I think the transition to view is sort of natural for an open source community. But I'm not here to discuss that. I'm talk here to talk about Vue and what I think Vue does best. What, why do you use frameworks? Anyone? 
No one? No one uses a framework. Great, you're all JavaScript developers and no, 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 we're all very well. We're lazy. We're lazy. Yes, it makes our lives easier. We do different, difficult stuff and we need something to help us. We like, uh, shiny we like shiny stuff as well. As soon as there's a new framework, we go, yeah. But Vue is so easy, it's like, it feels like cheating when you do it. And we're going to look at a few examples. I think I have time for that, just about. So, uh, if we look to, we're going to close this down. Don't save. Don't need it anymore. Um, we have some shiny code here. If I, no, we don't have any shiny code. Where's my shiny code? Um, can this work? Yes, great. So if I write this in React, it, you try to understand this code, what it does. Well, I see that I have a button. I should have begun with this. When you write a view component, component it always uh, in has three parts. It has the HTML, it has the JavaScript, and it has the CSS, which can be scoped if you like. The template, which is the HTML, is HTML with some code in it. We try to figure out what this, do this does. It says we have a button. It says click, add item. Add item says this number's push, this number's length of one. What? This? And this is part of the view magic, that this keyword somehow knows that numbers is this numbers. And if you try to do that in JavaScript, you're going to go, no, 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 no. This points somewhere completely different. And if we say that, OK, so this button will be disabled if we our length of this array is greater than 4. And then we have um, a component, which we pass numbers. And then we have a transition, just because we had to talk about CSS animations. This is the same. OK, so I'm out of time. OK, quickly, I will uh, do this. And we will see. I have about a minute. Yeah, so this is how it works. If we have, um, it always knows what's what in the component. And if we look at the, uh, the code <coughs> or the C in the HTML, you can see that there is nothing here. There is nothing here. There are just a couple of um, comments. So if you, it's not like hidden or anything. It's just not there until I press an item. Then it shows up. And the thing with this is, This is the only thing that changes in your DOM. This is why Vue is so fast. So if you change one thing, it's not going to change the rest of the DOM tree. It's not going to change how to check down to find other places to change. It's just going to find this one spot that it needs to change and replace it. So that's why Vue is so fast. So with that. I think I'll just say thank you, try view. It takes you 15 minutes to try out. It takes you two hours to be productive, even in a production environment. Thank you.